hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i show you how to twist your hair by yourself one of the few things that i want to do on my channel is to encourage people to make their hair yourself okay i started making my hair in 2020 officially like i've been making my hair before then but not a hairstyle that i could take out so i started making my hair during the covid 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 19 slash 20 years i think around for two years so that was when i started making my hair and ever since then i've been making my hair because i just realized that going to the salon sometimes the hairdresser said just handle your hair anyhow although i still go to the salon one once or twice to make my hair because you can't make your hair yourself every time so today i'm just going to be doing a natural twist two strand twist and it's like the easiest protective hairstyle that natural hairstylists always take okay i as you can see my hair is natural and i've been natural like that for a while <laughs> so i just do some protective style sometimes when i don't want to use extensions on my hair and earlier on i showed you a picture of a leave-in conditioner mega growth leave-in conditioner i like to just hold down my hair protects my ends moisturize it and that's a an edge control that i use on my hair to hold down the twist okay i don't know what this how this will turn out but you guys just ride with me and you see the outcome at the end of the video so if you're new here you're just coming in kindly subscribe to my channel like and share you're going to enjoy it my channel focuses on self-care on self-growth development it's a lot i'm going to be sharing a lot of areas where you can grow personally i'm on a self-growth journey self-development journey so just want you guys to grow with me i'm trying to level up so i'm going to be sharing tips on how to do that and taking care of your hair is one method of self-care a lot of people do not know but i believe as a lady your hair is the first impression that you make when you go out so i see a lot of people saying they can't they can't um, make their hair if there are no extensions or if they are if they can if they if they don't have money to buy extensions then it means you're not going to make their hair no you can just style your hair and go out as long as your hair is neat you're making a good impression of it already so you guys are going to pardon me because at the time of recording this video i couldn't get the right angle to take the back but i'd love to show you how i twisted the back so like i said i started making my hair 2020 um one of the reasons why i delayed so much was because the first time i made my hair i was still at school high school then that was 2019 i'm sharing this journey i'm sharing this story so that it's going to encourage you guys so when i made the hair I came out and a lot of persons didn't know that I made the hair. I made twist then with Brazilian wool and I kind of crochet it inside. So someone saw me and was like, do you make your hair yourself? I said, yes, I did. Okay, I think I was one that told him that I made my hair myself. And then he was like, the hair doesn't look good. <laughs> so I felt really bad. And I was like why would someone just meet me and just don't cast me tell me negative words just like that so i felt bad but i didn't tell him i just said okay i did, i couldn't grab this other end well and that was why it was like my first time of making my hair in school then i made my hair myself because i noticed that in school a lot of persons couldn't make my hair my hair was very full like what you're seeing now is not even my hair my hair i lost some hair my hair was very full so a lot of persons could not make when you go to make when i go to make my hair they just cut my hair big big <laughs> so i was like okay let me make my hair myself because already i was making people's hair styling on people's hair is very easy but on your own hair i won't lie to you it's not easy at all 
so i just sat down and i made my hair i sat in front of the mirror and made the hair so she just told me that the hair wasn't looking good and i felt so bad when i got in i carried the hair for a while and then i lose it then i was still working on my self esteem you know that was one of the things that made me work on myself and i said i was going to do youtube so that to encourage people on self esteem so i was like that for over a year i couldn't make my hair i couldn't do anything i was so shy of stuff you know when i make my hair i couldn't take videos because i felt that people are going to say that the hair is not fine you and you are doing it wrongly and stuff but i was making hair on other people and it was looking good so why can't i make hair on my own self so fast forward to covid when everyone was at home we couldn't even go out <laughs> and i just thought to myself okay why not make your hair now you're at home at least nobody's going to see it can imagine <laughs> so that was when i started making my hair i would just sit in front of the mirror and i'll do a lot of the styles i did crochet i crochet a lot of hair down so i would just get it in Okay, I took care of my hair that period. My hair was very long because I was doing a lot of DIY. Some of those DIYs I will show you in this channel. I did a lot of carrot oil, ginger oil <laughs> because I was inside the house. And when I got back to school after the COVID, I stopped again. You can imagine. So I just used to do my hair inside. And when I come out, I don't tell people that I make my hair myself. They'll be like, okay you just made a new hair and i'll be like yes i made a new hair but i don't tell them that i made it myself until one time i made a crochet style and i just took a video i deleted the video although but before then i had taken screenshots of the video so i posted those pictures the screenshots and a friend of mine was like do you make a video of you making your hair because she was like she knew I make my hair she was very close to me and I was like yes I made a video she was like why didn't you post the video and I just felt like why should I post the video it's, it's my choice and she was like no you should show people what you can do you should, you should let people know that this is one super skill that you have and not holding it in I was like wow no one has ever said that to me before like prior to now a lot of persons they just come and they tell you that your hair is not looking good and stuff or they just want to cave you in don't want you to shine but she, she let me know that i could show everybody what i have and the world could see it and i was like okay i'm going to open a youtube channel so i started making plans i used my gmail to open a channel but i still didn't post anything i remember one time i posted a threw back like a roundup of 2021 or 2022 video like that and after posting it after like few like one minute or two minutes i deleted it from my channel <laughs> so you can imagine the processes and the time it took me settling i was like i want to have everything before i start my channel until my boyfriend thank god for him he looked at me and forced me I was like what is that thing you can do very well i was like i have a lot but i don't have the guts to do them and he was like you know what i'm going to set up some stuff and you're going to come out and talk i'm like eh me talk so that was when i made up my mind before now i used to think i must have everything my lead lights you know a very good studio a very good chair mirror stuff and I just thought to myself, after I went, I came on YouTube and I saw a lot of channels. Some people were not even doing much. And I told myself that I was going to do this. And that's how I started. So you guys, before now, I made, um, I braided the front of the hair, but I didn't like it. So I just said I was, I was going to do everything twist and one side braiding. So I hope you enjoyed my story. Please, please don't forget to like, share if you've been motivated or inspired by my story. Please drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to, so that we can grow together. Thank you very much for standing by. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> Alright, and see you in the next video. Bye.